Such a fragile thing is the mind. For all its magnificence, it'll crack as easily as a frozen whisper given the right pressure. For me, it started as innocently as getting locked in my bathroom. A faulty door handle was to blame, shitty piece of metal. It was a particularly hot shower that night. The tiny room was filled with the stagnant, wet air. The muscles along my spine heaved to bring the slightest hint of fresh air into my lungs. Hot, wet air I breathed. I wasn't just in a panic. I was the embodiment of the word. The walls seemed to close in and I broke. Nausea twisted my guts until fear took over and with all my strength, I broke the doorknob with my bare hands. I scrambled into the dark hallway. Fresh air rocketed into my lungs like a vacuum of deep space into a punctured hall. It was then I realized of what I was truly made. I couldn't fall asleep for many nights following. When my eyes shut, the nausea and panic returned. The growing fissure in my mind turned every setting into that bathroom. At first, it was just my bedroom, then the living room. Finally, I wasn't even safe for myself in my own home. Every room filled with choking steam, wet knobs, my feet without traction on the floor. The remnants of my sanity assured me it was an illusion, but the panic was crippling. I started sleeping outside. That's when I realized what being trapped truly meant. The open air and empty space overhead wasn't enough to calm me. The fence around my yard was the next barrier that seemed to be closing in. The steam followed me everywhere. I imagined the river at the edge of town rising up like a great wall of water, decapitating any escape attempt. Hot steam as thick as putty crawling over the only road to freedom and fresh air. But what if I got past the river? What then? More land? More rising hills? Avalanching steam? More hot breaths? More crying lungs? All passable roads would eventually end at the ocean. The broiling ocean and its suffocating waves. I would surely drown just looking at it. The blackness of empty space was my only hope. I could escape to where nothing exists. My mind cracked. What if that nothing is not a void, but a black canvas, blacklit by needle holes of unreachable freedom? Surely the steam would follow me there as well. Trapped. Suffocating. Suicide was not an option. What if my soul was then trapped in my corpse for eternity? Panic. Nausea. Death is not a freedom. It was then I found the loophole. My soul lives under my skin, my flesh, and my bones. If I freed my soul without the claustrophobia of death, then I would truly be free. The knife must remain sharp, and my cuts true, lest I bleed out before I escape. <laughs>